I am Adrian Gonzalez, and I'm interviewing... Matt Dobson. Okay, I'm going to ask some, some questions. Okay. What motivates you in your life? Uh, the biggest motivation, obviously, is just what I had to go through to get to where I was. And, uh, and just, you can pick up a newspaper every day and just see where teenagers have, you know, died in car wrecks or died with alcohol or something's going on. And you just, just get tired of seeing young people throw their lives away to drugs, to alcohol, and different stuff, and just ultimately giving up because they feel like life has just gotten that bad. And so that's what motivates me every day is because now whether all kids get it, Probably not, but if five kids left today thinking, man, my life's worth it and I'm going to do something great with it, man, it's absolutely worth it. What is your passion? My passion is absolutely encouraging, motivating, and inspiring young people. I just I want them to go after whatever goal it is that they've got with everything that they've got, regardless of what life's dealt them. What is your end goal? Oh man, my end goal. Then I don't know. There is an end goal. I just, <laughs> I, I mean, because there's there's an endless amount of kids that need to be encouraged. I mean, we do, we almost do 500 to 600 school assemblies a year, and I still don't feel like that's enough. Like there's there's so many kids out there, and there's just and there's always a new crop. I mean, like freshmen, seniors, they're all, they're going to go graduate, and then there's new kids. So you could be doing this. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'll do this as long as I can, but I don't know. I and mean, just as far as having an end goal. Man, I, I, don't, I hope that I never stop uh, motivating. I hope I never stop just helping kids or helping teenagers or doing something. I don't know that there is an end game to this. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You guys have a good day. <clears throat> My name is Kobe Salinas, and we're here today to talk to the Engineering Club and see what their plans are for next year. What is your name and position in the club? My name is Jacob Summers, and I'm the president of the Engineering Club here at Hollington South. What is the typical work environment in the engineering club? In the engineering club, everyone is on task and works well with each other. What are the different types of competitions the engineering club competes in? The first being Sea Perch is where we build underwater robots to perform certain tasks. The second is FTC where we build grounded robots to perform certain tasks. And the last is TARC where we build and launch rockets. What is your name and position in the club? Uh, my name is George Salinas, and I am the secretary of Harlingen South Engineering Club. And what I do is keep track of what we're doing, keep dates, and record all our progress and our problems and our solutions. And I present them to the judges in our engineering journals. What are some of the future competitions you guys will be having? Uh, FTC uh, and TARC. FTC is our robotics team, which is coached by Mr. Gar Garza and our talk is by Mr. Mendez. And we plan to continue this in next year. Have you guys already done any competitions? Yes, we had just completed Sea Perch uh, a couple weeks ago. We succeeded in our run-throughs and we did pretty well. Okay, thank you. What is your name and position in the club? My name is Cesar Torres and I am a senior advisor. Have you 3D printed any of the parts in any of your past projects? Yes, mainly we have 3D printed parts for TARC because they're more required and one part for Sea Perch. What improvements are you guys trying to make for next year for Sea Perch? Mm, what they're going to improve for next year is the speed, the frame, and the control. Thank you. When does the Engineering Club have their meetings? The Engineering Club meets every Mondays and Thursdays after school. Thank you. My name is Brianna Thompson, and we did Seniors Band for Pickskin Day. It started here on the field in July, early July. So it's only appropriate that we end it here on the field. The family will always be here. We'll always have a light on for you. We fail together. We succeed together. We work hard together. This is 2017, 2018 Pigskin. We are behind the scenes.
Now the lights are on, seniors. You see the lights on in the dark. So you're always going to be able to find your way home when you graduate. My name is Quinter Hernandez and this is the Graphic Arts Club. So what is your name? Sierra Morsi. And what is your role in this club? Uh, I'm the president. What do you, what do, you do as president? Um, I organize the fundraisers and the volunteer service and our field trips and like all the donations and stuff that we need to get. Sounds neat. So what's your name? My name is James Soto. And uh, what's your role in this club? My role in this club is the historian. And what does the historian do? Technically, I just document every like activity we do, like every club meeting. I take pictures. Uh, if we go out for like fundraisers or events, I'm there and I have to document everything, and then I send it to the teacher. Obviously, I touched them up a little bit before sending. So. Okay, so what's your name? My name is Chloe Danielle Levin. And what is your role in this club? Parliamentarian. What does, uh, what kind of stuff do you do? Uh, I'm in charge of organizing the club, uh, making sure things are going, running in smoothly. Okay, so what's your name? Karina Ramirez. And uh, what's your role in this club? Uh, I'm the treasurer. And what kind of stuff does a treasurer do? We collect money, count it, and keep it safe. And then after all, like, all the money's collected, we go to the bookkeeper and turn it in. Nice. Hi, I'm Matthew Kavasas, and for our story, we had the chance to talk to the tennis team before they took off to regionals. We got to interview Coach Holder and the two tennis captains. Hi, my name is Matthew Cavazos, and I'm here with the assistant tennis coach, Coach Holder. How do you think the team played against Eagle Pass yesterday? I think we played uh, well across the board. Um, I was really pleased with how our girls played. They did a good job and stepped up against a very nice team. Okay, and what do you? What are your expectations for regionals? Regionals, I think uh, we're going to be playing one of the best teams in the state, most likely either the uh, third-ranked team or the sixth-ranked team, whichever one. And um, you know, we love challenges, and uh, to be the best, you have to beat the best, and that's what we're looking forward to. Okay, and last question: What makes this team special? I think we just have a lot of hardworking kids that come together and, and try to do their best as a unit, and uh, yeah, just the, the fact that they're willing to work hard on a day in and day out basis. Okay, thank you, Coach. Okay, I'm here with Hunter Lyman, team captain for Harlem to South Tennis Team. They're on their way to regionals tomorrow. Hunter, why do you think your teammates voted you team captain? I think because I bring leadership and uh, experience being on the team for four years. All right, next question. How do you think you played against Eagle Pass yesterday? I think I played good. We dropped doubles, but in singles, uh, I beat my opponent pretty easily. So. Okay, and how do you think the team will do at regionals tomorrow? Uh, I think we'll do pretty good. They, they are number four in the state, but I think because of our boys' side, that will be, we'll be okay. All right, I'm here with the girls' tennis team captain, Jesse Alfaro. Why do you think that your teammates voted you captain? I think that my teammates voted me captain because throughout my four years on this team, I've proven myself and stepped up when I needed to. Okay, and how do you feel the girls' side of the team played against Eagle Pass? I think we really stepped up and played well on all courts. Okay, and what are your expectations for regionals? I think that we're going to play a tough team, but if we really come together, we'll be able to do well. Okay, thank you.